Fundamentalist pastor Matthew Hagee is going to talk to us about climate science, and he has an interesting take on it. We hear that all of the weather events that are taking place in the world today are a result of environmental impact of global warming, that emissions from factories and sorts of things are the reason why there's mudslides and the reason why there's uh, hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes and all of these various situations. That's incorrect. The Bible says that whenever we approach the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, that there would be strange weather patterns. Jesus said this in Matthew, the 25th chapter. So we have a decision to make. Do we believe what an environmentalist group says and choose to live in a world where we're attempting to make everything as clean in the air as possible? Or do we believe what the Bible says that these things were going to happen and that rather than try and clean up all of the air and solve all the problems of the world by eliminating factories, we should start to tell people about Jesus Christ who is to return. All right, that is not just egregiously wrong, but it's also scary. Because if people like that get control and they keep it, we are super fucked. Now, we're already fucked because business as usual runs the U.S., ExxonMobil, Chevron, BP, all these different companies, the fossil fuel industry, the fracking companies, they have a lockdown on our government. They pay all the politicians, so the politicians let them pollute, they let them contribute to global warming, and, uh, you know, it makes it worse and worse for everybody else, and eventually we're going to hit a tipping point if we haven't already. So we're already fucked because we're so corrupt, our politicians are so corrupt and they're so pro-business, but... A guy like this is even worse than that. Because there's not just a layer of corruption, it's also a, a layer of deep, deep ignorance and even stupidity. I mean, think about the things he just said. He was mocking, like, are we going to believe environmentalists or are we going to believe the Bible? The environmentalists, yes, yes, we believe the environmentalists, absolutely. You know, are we going to believe these scientists in their white coats with their degrees, or are we going to believe uh, the Bible? Okay, I cannot emphasize just how strongly I side with the scientists, and how strongly all of us should side with the scientists. How is that convincing to him? Like, who do you think you're reaching out to with that message? I mean, what is it? 30% of the American people, max, are going to go, yeah, I'm with that guy. Pick the Bible over the scientists. Like, from a fundamentalist perspective. Uh, it's just absolute insanity. He literally mocked cleanliness there. He's like, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to go ahead and try to clean the air and stop the pollution? Is that what we're going to try to do? Yes, that's what we're going to try to do. That's what everybody, of course, should try to do. What, do you want to live in a dirty area? What, do you want to get black lung? What, do you want to fuck up the environment further? I, again, I thought you loved Jesus. Didn't Jesus want everybody to be kind to all of his creations and to not, you know, be this gross human species polluting shit and making everything worse, when you are actually willing to go on your show and admit to the public what your true beliefs are, and they're that, that your idea is, no, no, it's not climate change, it's Jesus. I would actively like for climate change to continue, because the more natural disasters they are, the more people that die, the closer I think Jesus comes. When you're admitting that you're pro-people dying from climate change and natural disasters and all these horrible things, which is what he's saying. He's saying, look, the Bible says when Jesus comes back, there's going to be a whole lot of fucked up shit going on, so I'm pro-fucked up shit. Think about how insane that is. And think about how that's so far out of the mainstream you know, your average Republican or Independent or Democrat or anybody would say, all right, dude, take a long walk off a short pier because you're so Looney Tunes that, you know, you're above and beyond anything any average crazy person would say or believe.